In this tutorial, I'll show you how to solve similar problems to those on homework 216. So they look similar, but the numbers are slightly different. The methods are the same. At the top of your worksheet, you'll see an example of the four rules that we've been working with. Multiplying like bases is adding exponents. Dividing like bases is subtracting exponents. Raising a power to a power is multiplying exponents. And negative exponents is when we take the reciprocal to make it positive. So let's get started with the first section. The first section asks us to simplify writing using positive exponents. So my first rule is multiplying like bases, so I'm going to add those powers together. Since my power is positive, there's no more work to be done. Number two is raising a power to a power. This is when you distribute or multiply powers. Since my power is positive, I'm done. Number three is dividing like bases, so I'm going to subtract my powers, not divide. Since my power is positive, I'm done. Number four actually has a negative exponent. So I'm going to take the reciprocal, and now my power becomes positive. Number five is raising a power to a power. But since my power is negative, I need to go one step further. Take the reciprocal make the power positive. Now the last one here has an invisible exponent. Don't forget that b has a power of 1. So since I'm adding my powers together, I will add 1 plus 2 plus 9. Let's move on to the second section. The second section asks us to evaluate if possible. 4 to the second times 4 to the negative second is 4 to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Number 8, raising a power to a power. 3 to the ninth. Now this one, I'm going to need a calculator for. So I'm going to open my Desmos calculator here, and I'm going to type 3 raised up to the ninth power. And there's my answer, 19,683. 19,683. Number 9, dividing like bases is subtracting powers. But if you have a negative power, you should evaluate if possible. Six times six times six is 216. All right, next section. Evaluate numeric bases, write all exponents in positive form. Don't forget that coefficients have powers too. They're invisible ones. And since 4 is a numeric base, I'm going to multiply 4 times 4 times 4. And now I'm finished. The same is true with number 11. When I distribute my powers, don't forget to distribute to the invisible 1 in the, for the 5 exponent. And don't forget to evaluate your numeric coefficient in the front. All right, now for the final two. More than one rule needs to be applied here. So I have a numerator that asks me to raise a power to a power, giving me w to the 12th. But I have a denominator with a like base. So therefore, I'm going to subtract powers. And now I'm finished. Now be careful on number 13. One of them is raising a power to a power. 
the other one is not. So the first one stays the same. But the second one can be simplified to r to the 18th. And now I use a different rule, adding the exponents And that concludes the lesson for homework 216.